And stocks have plunged around the world since reports started coming in about Russia's move into Ukraine. Western countries and their allies are announcing their plans to sanction Russia, and that could severely disrupt businesses and economies. Kim ji reports. Following reports of Russian troops crossing Ukraine's eastern border into the Donbas region, Brent crude oil prices surpassed 100 U.S. dollars a barrel for the first time since 2014 when Russia annexed Crimea. Global equities markets tumbled as well. Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index was down by more than 3 percent. Japan's topics dropped by around 2 percent, and futures point towards heavy losses for European and U.K. shares. The Dow Jones, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq plunged by more than 2 percent. It's also affecting the cryptocurrency market. The price of Bitcoin dropped by more than 8 percent to $34,000. South Korea's KOSPI also fell by nearly 3 percent on Thursday afternoon, closing at the 2,600 level, the lowest in a month. The South Korean government has signaled the possibility of joining sanctions against Russia if a full-scale attack on Ukraine goes ahead. The government added it is reviewing measures to minimize the impact of any sanctions on the Korean economy and businesses while continually closely coordinate with the U.S. and its allies. South Korea's trade ministry also held a meeting for businesses that could possibly be affected by the turmoil and have a separate consultative team for local importers and exporters dealing with Ukraine and Russia. Kim Jian, Arirang News.